Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. I am glad you decided to stop by here today. This evening, you could have been anyplace else, but you decided to stop right here and hang out with us. Welcome, new subscribers, returning subscribers. Welcome back. So how are you guys doing? Uh, let's see. Let me heal up the tribe and then we can get talking, guys. Please, guys, if you're just joining, please hit the like button, please, and share the live. Call somebody and let them know that we're on, we're ready, and we're going, and everything is good. So welcome, everybody. And everybody who, who are member, who are, you know, supporters and part of the family over here, when you see the new members, them come in at the comment. You know, welcome them, you know? Yeah, man, almost welcome them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, guys, I want to welcome the people. Them. Anybody want to know the people them over here? So when you see a new name or a new face, let them know, you know, we're, we're okay over here. Welcome. Yeah. So I hope everybody had a good day, you know, and all is well with you guys. Um. <laughs> A picture the good evening yeah very informative yes we have some interesting developments over here yeah so we're gonna go in it shortly but you know we'll kind of wait until the thing load up and then we will get talking i know that everybody have to do their meet and greeting at the comments yeah continue to do that while we get ourselves settled settled in and stuff like that yeah man so as usual Thank you guys for your participation. Thank you for your support. Thank you for those of you who share our content. Please continue to do so. If you have not subscribed, please help us get to 30,000 by hitting the subscribe button. Please like the live. You know, that's the least you can do to say, you know, you like the content or, you know, things like that. So let us see here. Give me a second. Um, so, yeah, man, some serious thing with them are people here, guys. Some serious thing. You know, I've been wandering and seeing and not seeing some things. And I say, well, Andy, this no look normal to me, you know? But it, it's coming together now, and I'm going to share it with you guys. Thank you guys for loving it over here and staying over here and all these things. Yeah. We always have a good time over here, don't it? Tell the truth. Regardless of sometimes you have some local people come and come, you know, come make with a chip out here. <laughs> chip out one part, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. All right. So, guys, welcome again and good evening. And I hope you hit 200 ads so far where they are now, what, four minutes? I hope that everybody where they here so far hit the like button. Right? I wanna share the content and them something there. Remember, we don't come out and come stress out people, you know. We don't come big, big with no money and they sitting there, you know. So we don't come over here and we don't eat the like button, you know. Cause we don't get good content over here. So some of the rest of vloggers them out here, me not watch them, but people tell me, say so all then do come out here, come stress them out for money, come out here, come text it for one set of somebody, and then uh, split no justice. We don't come over here, so justice split over here, so. I wanna get authentic content, wanna get honest analysis and opinion, sharp analytical skills over here. Remember, we have Liz, the queen, queen of talk radio from way back when, commentator. So I wanna get quality content over here. So anyway, we're here tonight to talk about a few things. But first, we're gonna talk about this man here, Mark Golden. Right? Because you know, so normally you have um at our US embassies, guys, you have people, you know, who are there, you know, to do their jobs and you know, we've always had a good relationship with our friends there in the embassy. Never really any serious trouble. 
first time me ever see one well, look of trouble going over there. Now look at trouble. I can't see that to be a big trouble. Never seen it before. We have the Canadian embassy. We have the, the American embassy. Oh, where the American? Okay. I thought I uploaded the American embassy, but that's okay. Yes, yeah, so we have the American embassy, we have the US embassy, we have several other embassies in other countries, you know the thing go. And the first time we've ever seen any issues with any embassy in Jamaica, with the Jamaica government or opposition, was when this man here, Donald Tapia, come out and call Shubot Bunting say, I'm an informer and I'm a tell life on the people them. We remember that, don't it? This wasn't that long ago. That was like a couple of years ago. So this is our former U.S. ambassador, Donald Tapia. And normally, guys, how it works is you have the Democratic Party, which is normally aligned with the People's National Party and the Republicans normally aligned with the JLP. But in recent times, because the politics is a little bit crisscross, even in America, to a degree, you know, you will see friends of the Democratic Party um, engaging uh, the JLP and you will see the Republicans. Uh, Republican Party kind of shaky right now, guys, after Trump and the whole problem over there. But we never really have no problem where one party or the other um try to do anything crazy since we moved past the 80s so everybody pretty much get along you understand guys regardless i wish party them come from when you know say bad to bad jamaica have its internal issues but we have always been loved and received well by the international community right anybody who is well traveled well studied will know that all right so mark golden now when he was Minister of Justice, sometimes the embassy them in a Jamaica, they will invite, you know, members of government to come and, you know, have meetings and stuff like that. Mark Golden was invited to a meeting at one embassy. Me never talk about which embassy because I don't want to show about the people them. And when Mark Golden got invited to the embassy, Mark Golden got on there to talk up some sitting. When he left, this was when he was Minister of Justice and a Porsche administration, you know. And when Mark Golden got on there to let go him out, the people them said they do not want him back down there. He should never be invited down there again. Right? What happened is, I don't know how many of you observe this in like me see it mostly like in you know, a people from England. American people them, them not really stay so, right? They would rather be silent with you than to really play a hypocrite in your face. So, like what we notice with British people, some people, they will make you feel one way in front of your face, and then behind your back are something totally different, right? Like, for example, remember how Dr. Phillips was interviewed on Dean Jackson Miller. And Dean said to him, say, say, you didn't have no idea say Mark Golden was, you know, against you or didn't like your leadership. And Dr. Phillips was like, no, I was shocked. You know, same thing him come again. When him, when him stand up in the parliament and tell Andrew them, say, him is okay with Juliet being the speaker. And then in I'm speech now, just a few days ago, he's like, she shouldn't be up there. She shouldn't be up there. And it makes you wonder, did he forget that he said that it was okay? You know, we as a Jamaican people, we are not like that. If we not like you, we polite, you know. But if we not like you, we're not, we're not going to mislead you. And we're not going to make you feel like so we love you and we know we're not like you. Me no know about uno as Jamaican people, but me and my family, them and my friend, them are so we stay. We're not going to play no hypocrite to your face. So anyway, when this man I get invited to the embassy as the minister of justice, for God on there, the man talks on sitting about Portia. And members say, you know, Portia at the time, 
first female prime minister in a Jamaica, right? And bad to bad. Nobody now want to invite you nowhere know, as, you know, in a formal meeting, formal setting, and you're disparaging your leader in that kind of way. And after the meeting, the people them say, him is not welcome back down there. And you know, all me know say are true. Can remember my sources, them very credibly, you know, guys. All me know say are true. Several people have told me how oh, Mark Golden used to talk about Portia in NEC meetings and how disgusting it was, how he spoke about her. And I don't know if you guys ever see one video on social media where Bunting was in a vehicle talking about Porsche, about how Porsche driver bun weed and about how him under alcohol and them something there and about mind him crash with Porsche and about Porsche stupid she never realize and them something there. This is how they talk about their friends. They're hypocrites, right? So can you imagine, guys? A minister of justice. And you know why him do that? When him go down at the embassy, the person who was down there where do the, uh, we invite him and have the meeting with him. I was one somebody who look like him. So him feels say no. Him could have unleashed him venom from Portia. And the people them did have go silent about it or be okay with it. Him feels say the people them behave like him you know you know what i mean guys people will look like him you know so him swear now say i can say these nasty things about Portia. i can undermine her you know i can tell them how stupid she is and all that kind of thing i want the people them find him out more little bit of light people them realize they're not good smart of this Look how Portia is love. No matter what Jamaica people them say about Portia. Remember, say anywhere Portia go in the world, people love her. I don't know what it is about Portia, but everywhere this woman go in the world, people want heap of fanfare around her. I don't know that too, right? So fast forward now. Mark Golden has been the president of the PNP since 2020. And I have wondered, but I have heard other people say, how comes you don't really see no much interaction with him? You don't really see no much interaction with him and our foreign allies and stuff like that. You know? Because sometimes when you're in an opposition, that's the time when you know, you would meet people and, you know, you want to put on your, your best. You want to put yourself out there that you, you are a leader in waiting. You are likable, you know, you are approachable and all of these things. Let me go into a recent, a recent occurrence where I thought that Mark Golding would have been there, but he was not there. Just recently, we see Jamaica hosted a crisis meeting regarding Haiti. And when you look, you see all of the members of CARICOM there, right? You see the U.S. Secretary of State there, Blinken. You see... Other people there from the region, right? Because it's a CARICOM meeting. You even see the U.S. ambassador there. You see Kamina there. Looking at the room, you see all kind of people there. But you don't see nobody from the opposition. Remember, you know, guys, this is a crisis meeting, you know, right? I have the prime minister. The Prime Minister and the Opposition Party, somebody should have in the room representing the opposition, right? Because remember, 
when Obama came to Jamaica, wanna see happen? Obama met with Andrew. And if you look behind him there, that's Yvette Clark, the congresswoman from New York, right? And on more than one occasion, you see Obama is meeting with Andrew again. And you see Bunting right there, so. And Portia. Right? So the, these are the things that we do as a Jamaican people and where, you know, diplomacy and them things is concerned. But you don't see, you don't see nobody a deal with Mark Golden. Right? You don't see no embassy, nobody, no really a talk to him to that. The important people them, the people them who are friends of PNP for, for a long time, right? The Maxine Waters, um, right around 2020, Maxine was in several Caribbean, Caribbean islands meeting with their leaders. For example, she was with our friend over here from Trinidad, right? I believe that's 2021 or something. And here is she again. She was with the Prime Minister of Bahamas in 22. And I was noticing at the time she was making some rounds in the region. And it was unlike her to not meet with the PNP at that time. There she was with Portia. When she was in power, there they are with Anjo. You see, Yvette is there and Maxine is there as well, right? Um, so this was 2022. Anjo one has posted that. You see, the congresswoman, our Jamaican congresswoman in New York, I think she was in Jamaica last year. And she came and she met with Powell and a few other members of the PNP, right? You don't see she meet with Mark Golden and bunting them. Um, let's see. So this was New York again, yeah? Andrew, Nigel, and Kamina with longtime friends of the PNP, Yvette and Maxine. So... I don't, I don't know if you guys remember when Lisa Hannah basically played chaperone. <laughs> she played the chaperone when they were in Washington, D.C. Because Mark Golden, as much as he was Minister of Justice, he don't know nobody. He not keep relationships with people and them something they said us, you know? So Lisa kind of hosted that whole thing where they were in Washington, D.C. and they went to New York and stuff like that. But they were kind of using Lisa to introduce him to people. And it's like, it fell flat to me. Right? So I feel that when the people them said them do not want to meet with him again because of the things that he went there and said, they're serious. And it wasn't just a one-time thing. You know, him go down there and him show him true colors and the people them write him off from them time there. Said some, I don't know why, I don't know why he does that. Said some very nasty things about your leader. Just because you see people across the table will look like you. You feel like, say, you can disparage your woman and bring down the woman. And the people, they're going to smile with you. No. Uh-uh. Let me see what you guys are saying here. No, I don't think him love woman, honestly. Because too, too much people, too much people witnessed the way that him talk about, you never hear him bring down bunting yet, and whole heap bring down the pan bunting. But he's always bringing down people who him consider to be weak. I don't know why he would think that about Jamaican women, you know? 
Um, you see how he was vicious in, in his language toward Venetia. You know, she's a traitor. This is the kind of language he uses when he speak about um, people, Jamaican people. Him not talk about him British people them like that, you know. No, him not gonna do that. But that really pissed off the people what he did. And as you can see, nobody, nobody really wants much to do with him. As a leader in waiting, you want to be, you want to be shaking everybody's hand, you know, you want to be everywhere, as Andrew Holness was. And for him not to have been. At this event with Kiara Comrade, it look really bad. Because you are these are national security issues, you know. So you know, as a as a so-called leader in waiting, you know, you're supposed to educate yourself and make sure say you're in the room and I get every intelligence where you can to educate yourself so you can be a good leader, understand international relations foreign policy, and all of them something there. Mark Golding does not care about leading Jamaica because he wouldn't even write his own speech or at least participate in the speeches that are written for him. You know, people have speech writers sometimes, but you are the director of that speech. You know what you want to say. You know what, what, what you should put in there and all these things. And that's not the case. Hold on, guys. Yeah, so let me let me read some of your comments here. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. Everywhere that Portia went, she was so magnetic. Everywhere that she went, people just loved her. People just adored her, and that's the natural. It's a natural attitude toward Jamaican people, anywhere you go in the world. Once you say you're Jamaican, the game change right there. So, um, I'm really in love, woman. That's why this vlogger is now comparing his wife to all the other leaders and those pick Ian Er in. She just don't look like any other leader's wife. Mark Golden is not international, man. No. And that's what I'm saying. You see the rest of the people, them when a PNP, the MP, them, we are trying to push him on front line to make it look like say boy, I'm ready for something. They are doing a grave disservice. It's such an embarrassment. The truth of the matter is, it's not everybody can be leader. And I just the truth. Because if you can, if you can make the embassy say, you know, if you come back up there. Let me see if me, let me did upload a picture there. Since he became the president of the PNP, the new ambassador went to OLO. But, and Mark Golding posted that. Yeah, he posted that the new ambassador went to OLO. But he was not pictured, he was not seen photographed in that visit. The new, the incoming ambassador would normally do that. Go to the opposition leader office, meet with everybody from both sides, make you know, say, listen, we are here to work with everyone. The people, the people, them see them long time, you know. I don't make it for realize. So before them true colors come out to the public and the people of Jamaica, Look like say people them the people them 
see them long time, see them heart and their soul. I force me see this as opposition. Right, you know, nobody now in a nothing with them. Nobody now in a nothing with them. Then can't even get the real and true base of the party to come out for them. And them vicious and hostile. The people them just, it's like they have the plague. Nobody wants to touch them. Nobody wants anything to do with them. No, sir. Mark, I have to go back to England with that style. Eh? Yes, he must go, go back to England with that style of politics there. Eh? And in behavior, in behavior toward Jamaican people, right? Nobody in the politics never get told, don't come back to our embassy. Nobody. But to bad, we are decent people, you know, in a Jamaica, you know. And that's why people are so magnetic to me, you know. This man here, this man sees some classified information. The man run out and come say, in Carl Bunting, name Panerado, and say, when Daryl Vaz visa get take away, after when Bunting was Minister of Security, he might report the man with no evidence. Me never see this yet in the history of Jamaica. You cannot report them something they are wickedness in you, know? you cannot report people. I you know, have no evidence. You are, the, you, are the, you are the top security person in the country. You have access to every information, every intelligence. I you go care somebody's name. Go report them. And you don't bring no evidence and make people in visa get take away. You don't see a wicked man. May I wonder how much other people visa this man this man may get take away. Like seriously. You and the man are friend in the man face. You know them people are dangerous, you know. You man was a bench and batty, you know. Them time there, you know. And meantime, him and the man are friend. Him are him a care the man name. And I go tell more to investigate. Jesus Christ, me have to take bad things, like. No, sir. I think him frightened of us, God, from the time there. From the U.S. ambassador come out, come bring him down and tell the jewel Jamaican the world everything. From that, I see us talk back to him. Them people are frightened you, man. Like, seriously. Yeah, them frightened you. The people that don't have no home training is bunting and golden. You never, the things that they make come happening in Jamaica. You never see them something there happening yet with nobody else, or them alone. So them are the ones when I have no home training. Mm -hmm. When the dog on the yard probably have more home, home training than them. Give me a second, guys, that I'm plug in this device here, so. Yeah, we're calling Liz, our correspondent in Kingston, who knows every politics, every history. We have to call in Liz Panda one year, because I don't know if Liz knows about this. It's a disgrace. Don't make Amanda come back up here. Don't invite him back up here again.
You know, say them wicked. The amount of money where they make off a PNP. Them two money. The amount of money where they make. Remember, say the two of them don't come from a rich family, you know. They don't come from a money background, you know. Right? And clearly, for them come now, can brag and boast so them them worth too much money and ray ray ray. Right, that goes to show you say. And the politics, it's all about the politics. That's how they became wealthy. And for you get invited to come to an event by the embassy and the very people them will help you to obtain your wealth and them you go use your mouth and bring them now tell me if them are people where you can where you can choose eh? tell me if them are people if them are people you can choose I know any anybody me talk to in a foreign, you know. Yes, I know any anybody me talk to a foreign. But can you see them style when they come with where they will tell you something today and come back and do a total 360 pan you? Because what happened with Juliet Owens, you know? What this man here can do to Juliet Owens? Jamaica people must whoop them, yeah, you know. Jamaica people they must whoop them, yeah. Just six months ago. You, you, you gave the appearance as the leader of the opposition. You gave the appearance that you were okay with this person being appointed to be a speaker in the house. Six months later, it's like you never said it. Six months later, you come out attacking her. I said she shouldn't up there when you were knocking the table time after time as if you were okay. So these are not people who are writing in them head, you know. Because people who are writing do them something, you know. People who are writing. You're not going to see them do, do them 360 and turn palm. Not even animals are turn palm people like this. When they use their animal turn, Upon their owner. A something that owner they do them like a cartel dog do. Something that owner they then bite their owner. But you don't you don't just turn on people just out of nowhere. Like I consider that to be something, maybe some disorder or something. I don't know. But I can't relate to it. And I certainly cannot trust people like that. And me, people like me, supposed to say to Juliet Olney, say, you're not supposed to up there. Because that was the stance from day one. But when this man is going to, me, I wonder if you know, members say, camera in the parliament, record in the parliament, witnesses in the parliament. I don't know. I don't tell me if it's a disability in a comment. Don't tell me. Come here, tell me some people are so, some people are fine, so they stay. Then we tell you something in front of your face and make you have the impression say everything is fine. And then a little bit down the line, you hear them come say, you know, them come say something total opposite. Guys, make sure that you're hitting the like button for me, please. I don't think Liz is near the phone right now. She's probably soon coming back. Um, let me see. May, may I wonder if at this them pick up, the government them pick up that something about them, why they did not invite them to come to the CARICOM meeting what day. Because our bunting was say my shadow security in Kyber Shadow in house. 
my shadow security. All him should have had a meeting. Yes, him should have had a meeting, but he was not there. None of them not get invited. I really and truly, I, I waste a time enough you know, for Andrew only see if bother for invite them people and away. Because they don't make sense. That the truth. They don't make sense. Right? I mean, I feel comfortable with that as a Jamaican. Because we as Jamaicans, no matter where our biases lie, we do not want a country where there is a weak to no opposition. That's not good for anybody. Ever. I'm a Claudia, Claudia seem to have a problem over here. Claudia, you don't belong over here, my love. Because you talk one person sitting not like you want to distract people. Them nice. Have them nice, nice conversation in the comment. Go on, your lady. Um, Portia would always include the opposition in foreign business. Yeah. Any kind of foreign, any kind of foreign relation where Guan Pan Jamaica style. That's really what you're supposed to do you now as a government, you know. Because you see when people are come to you where foreign relation is concerned, they're not coming to one party or another, they're coming to a country. So it makes sense that they would meet the, the person in government or the people in government and also meet the opposition. That's how it's always been traditionally. That's how we do it. When Obama came to Jamaica, I don't know who Obama no meet. He meet almost everybody. Senators, parliamentarians, government, opposition. And that's how you do it. And when you're in an opposition, you know, you want to meet everybody because when you come in, come in, or you want to have good relationship with people, and they can say, "Oh, I remember you." You know what I mean? You want to leave a good impression. That's how we would normally do it. That's why I tell you, no say no. From how much years now, me I say, see what them boy I do, or they sabotage the opposition party of Jamaica. And me I say, if Uno think say, when me say Uno, me attack your eyes as them we are watch silently over here. Me say, if Uno think say, our international allies, they don't know what's going on. Especially in this time here of social media. If Uno not think say, them not know where are going and where bunting them do. Uno make a sad mistake. Sadly mistaken. Then can't go nowhere and talk to nobody. Because the information is out there, what they did, right? The people them know say Mark Golden by PMP for ten million dollar, and that's why I may say, you know, make no sense. Andrew talk to them people. You cannot come talk to people who are by political party. You can't be sharing information with people who do them same thing there. Bunting first come with $15 million, you know, and the people them say they don't want him, you know. And then Mark come back now with $10 million. Oh, the, who, who buys a political party? I've never heard anything like that. So if you hear it, you talk in a comment, come in every year, nothing. Go so. Where you buy a political party, $10 million. And let me tell you something, you know. The truth and the fact that the matter, because you know someone will come over here, so. Only now, you know, they are foolishness. And nobody now come over here and tell a life on nobody. You see, Mark Golden? Mark Golden is a real true. By his actions and by their deeds, you shall know them. Mark Golden is a real true pathological liar. Yes, he is a pathological liar. Are you truth? Some people may talk about flip flop. I don't know they damn flip flop. There's flip flopping and there's lying. Big difference. 
And people who demonstrate a pattern of lying. It's a pathological condition. It can't change. At least not at this age. Life for no reason. I know me that really want, and that's why I say when Andrew walk out of the parliament, I the wrong thing him do. Me understand, but I the wrong thing him do. Because what he should have done as the adult in the room was confront this man and say to him, didn't you stand in here six months ago and say that you approve the speaker's appointment? Let him answer that. Let him answer it. Makes no damn sense. Prayers from Melissa. Oh, you mean, man? Prayers from Melissa's children, right? True. Yes, I all I watch I cover up and deny. The pit of them mother justice. The blood of Jesus is again, so no. Right, true. A true. A true, Alec. Them ostracize everybody. Them vicious in a man. When you hear Liz attack, Liz know them for years longer than me. Well, or I should say Liz has been closer to them longer than me. I've never been close to them because, you know, I'm not mixed with any any little dirty bungle. But Liz know them good. So when you hear Liz come and say they're wicked, it's not a joke. When you hear the U.S. ambassador come call up them name in front of man and God, and a joke. Liz, good evening. Good. Yes. So, Liz, thank you for joining. Tonight, now we are talking about a situation with Mark Golden, where the embassy, remember when I call the embassy name? The embassy, he was invited to the embassy when he was the Minister of Justice, and him go down there, go say some very nasty things, disparaging, denigrating things about Portia, and the embassy tell him, say, do not. Come back down here and tell the people them don't invite back this man here down here. You hear anything about that, please? Well, not directly about the embassy. But on several occasions, talking to persons inside the PMP, top echelon, it has been noticed since 2013, they have been having, they have been making slight comments about Portia, they have been laughing, Peter Bunting and Mark Gwen, they have been laughing at her, they have been de describing her intellect, they have done various things insultively. Um, at one point, there was a, I think it was a meeting, and they were saying something about, you know, at times she go over my yard, and several other things they have been saying. And um, they even went as far as we could be to frame Dr. Phillips about she see the post and not be very bright and then had it gone out propagandizing using the name of um christian name peter and at the time everybody knew that peter phillips and peter bunting was in the party at the same time when that um and then they propagandized it with the helmet skillfully slightly and the time back there then propagandize it and people believe that Dr. Phillips said it, and uh, Dr. Phillips had to deny it. I think all 32 media, 28 at the time, I, um, asked him, and he said, No, I said no such thing. So the, I am not surprised that the embassy tried to demand because you don't go to functions hosted by embassies and say things about leaders in your country. You don't do that because you can be considered a spy. Yeah, somebody where the Minister of Justice appointed by the leader. Appointed by the leader, the Prime Minister, then, mm -hmm. Justice Miller. And for him to be the Justice Minister and saying those things, it can be 
somebody, you know, if, if other dignitaries or other ambassadors will be there, they will be thinking, ah, oh, we can give this man a money and get information on the inside situation of, our, of the cabinet of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Because this is what he's doing. It's a, it's a dangerous thing to, you know, and because he's so, um, what do you call it? And so dangerous mentally, you know, mm -hmm. the people had to rebuff him and, 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 and tell him not ask him, made him per persona non grata, never to be invited to any function that they was again. Me not really see my power with no, with nobody. Like me, I show the examples of like when Obama came to Jamaica. Yes, sir. Obama met Portia, you know, the opposition did at the time, Andrew Olness and a couple of other people's on both sides, you know, he was meeting yeah, and greeting yeah. everybody. But under this administration of Golden from 2020, did And almost what, four years? You don't see anything like no, that. Remember. Remember with the four years old. And Donald Tapia, the former US ambassador, the man talk a bag of things. Him not just only say a bunting got talk false information without evidence and make the man visa get taken. You know? The man say bunting um tell Mocha for, for investigate Vaz. Bunting was reported to the State Department for doing those things. And all of the senators them in America, them know where to call the man tell them. So it, it, it just makes sense now that birds of a feather, the people them see the two of them apart, them good all know say, you know, them them right off, you know. The two of them right off. You must, you must, as I say, you know, if you walk into, when you walk into a country's embassy, the embassy is considered the, the, the country itself, so if you attack the embassy, and when you walk into the embassy, and then begins to, sorry, begins to, you know, in the middle, halfway through, good night, everybody, sorry about that again. When you walk into any embassy, official, um, um, putting on something official, because usually, the embassy door, all diplomats are invited. And if you come into the, 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 the environment and begin to denigrate your leader, then the embassy is, is going to turn around and look at you. And that is noted. And what they do then is open a file on you. Each embassy that is there, each diplomat, their embassies are instructed to open a file on you. Mm -hmm. And any embassy that's views you as a, a asset to spy mm -hmm. on, on your country or, or anybody else you think they can get. They are going to call in, call in and use you when the time comes. Liz, so, you know, Liz, stick, um, up in, stick up in right there some more. You answer that question you were one of the, one of the subscribers them ask. Fireburn say, if you trust Andrew, I guess he's asking if you trust him compared to Mark. Okay, at the moment, based on the actions of the both men, right? Andrew um, has a better trust deficit than Mark Golden. Okay. Because Andrew, Andrew is able to, Andrew lie. Andrew is in, <laughs> in a bottle. Where is Andrew <laughs> lie? <laughs> yeah, Andrew, Andrew lie to Andrew is in a bottle. However, when you look at how um Andrew lie, mm -hmm. then you can as a as a human being um begin to analyze and assess him and tell him. But mm -hmm. when you look and listen to my goalie, you understand clearly that this man doesn't know what truth look like, things like, smell like, and sound like. Because this man will look you straight in the eye. And you have pink eye, and then tell you say your eye blue. <laughs> That's Me move and what? Have, Andrew and Andrew must have a, a greater trust deficit. Um, well, well, well I shouldn't say trust deficit. Andrew have a deficit in trust, but his trust to trust him is better than to ever think of trusting Mark. Well, the Mark William don't have no trust at all. None. So, Liz. Mark Golden got up. 
when 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 him did in the parliament and him say him and the rest of member of parliament up on the opposition side and the government side say them all right with Juliet. You know, me I wonder say if when him come now and I bring her down, me I wonder if him just no member same did say so. You think him have a memory problem or him just wicked? It, it is possible. It is possible that he has is happy because him um him not if you notice when he's speaking to the press at any point, him gradually as the conversation goes on. And we got, he begins to lean his head. That is one of the traits of artistic persons, them lean them head. And then when you ask him about, he doesn't know anything, absolutely nothing about the history of the Jamaican political landscape from 19, the 1930s to the present. He doesn't. So what he's doing is scrambling. Him scrambling when him here. A little tad from this person, a little tad from that. Because at no point mm. has he been able to stand up and speak with fluidity and make a qualitative, communicative, clear, precise presentation. Like Andrew Olin's then. Andrew Olin can talk on the JNP and its history. He can talk on the Ministry of Finance, etc. He can talk and the education system. But Mark Golding, Mark Golding will come out and say, yeah, man, you know, we're getting liquid like again. Run out from them wicked. When you met me, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, you want the PMP back in our place, and me and my top and I friend them. Listen to all I'm speaking. No, so he so cannot present. He cannot present. Mm -hmm. And it is befuddling, puzzling, how much longer are uh, the MPs because nobody, no embassy, you know, it's not just in um um the far embassies in terms of the European countries or the North American countries, the Caribbean also. No leader from the Caribbean um wants to be associated with him because he has him no know nothing about the Caribbean. He no know nothing came because usually when you have a Caribbean the um situation you know the opposition leader jamaica is, is always invited and the recent asian situation if the opposition leader was philip's Osha, pg or anybody else they would have been asked to attend as an observer but this man listening to him watching his act because the constitution of jamaica the Constitution of Jamaica is very, very clear, you know, on issues relating to members of parliament, mm -hmm. council. And this man has gotten up telling the um the member of parliament for South East and Comrade Lisa Anna won her seat in the 2020 general election. Mm -hmm. But this man not understanding the constitution, come out and tell the public I offer her. A different seat as if him can say to her, say, leave Southeast and go in a West Central St. Andrew, as if by by some stroke of his authority. So the man is totally out of start mm -hmm. because that is what he said to the public, and I'm surprised nobody challenged him. You can't tell the elected member of parliament that she, you are offering her another seat. No, no, go show the people at South East Center and go to the woman. <laughs> you put her here. Lord Jesus. But he, and then in the PMP, again, they have allowed him to unilaterally decide, say, nobody can challenge him but two years and the constitution not say so. Then the him not, is, then he not change the constitution. He change the constitution. <laughs> Him arbitrarily do things and them sit down there with him. It's like a wanted man. A wanted man. The man go, him rob a bank. Right? Him go in the bank and take the people the money illegally. Or Ma Baker and our son, them. go in the bank, rob it, take the money illegally. And they know when the bank has, uh, um, the police come to get by them. Ma Baker and our son, I tell the police them out for treat and out for search to find them. I saw the man I behave. Mm -hmm. Him wanted, him illegal, but him a tell 
the elected member of parliament say, me and half a year in the city now, you have to move, go over there, so can't do something. Nothing goes so, and the people and vote for him, and seem to understand that. No, but Liz, you said something a while ago, I can't, I have to ask about this. You say, you're, you're talking about artism and they're sitting there. You feel so the PMP, people in the PMP that cause people are not idiots, okay? You feel so them that really no, know right. that. No, me I say if you feel so them that really see and know that and really are exp me, me feel like an exploitation. If you know that somebody is is mentally challenged, or you're gonna use people to me, me don't understand them style at all. You feel so them that really know and still keep the man there up, make a fool of everything. Yes, yes, because. I don't know what is happening, but somebody, somebody have break all the big stick over them head. Them know not. Them know up to now from now him, him all right. On the night, November the 7th, 2020, he was standing. He was on a white shirt with him congal hat. He was standing. The opening sentence was, as I am sitting here, before you he was on his feet and his opening sentence was as i am sitting here before you they know but the brutally is being exploited brutally yeah because the mission is to give bunting the job as prime minister of jamaica so i am the exploiter and then i am the exploiter then yes, bunting not him alone, but he's the main exploiter of this man and you know, him, 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 him say, him see the man explosiveness. Run out from them wicked. And them statement there. And the, the big stone situation. Me have the key. Me have the key to take off on a chain. But... <laughs> Liz, Jesus and Christ, Liz. Please. No, me could go back in that something. That's something where they put the shock around big stone neck. God Almighty, me say, I'm see my friend. I <laughs> think I did joke, you know. I think I did the bloggers, them um, make one meme and do that. I never know, say, I read something, Alice. Jesus, yeah, Father. Man. But but look yeah. here, if you if you are say, he might have that something there, which I don't know if I true, but based on the behavior, I really have to question it for true still. But if if he might have that something there, where you just say, date and have a date and make the man go up there to do that? Eh? Well, um, date and I understand is is a is an illness that they call it the silent killer, and I understand he suffers from it. Oh. And so you know he he um he have issues too. But the thing is, last year they were having a the all right the origin the first one that shows you. The one in the parliament when he was behaving like a jackass, a junior. Those are telltale signs. Mm -hmm. Last year again, him come to the function, the, the celebration for the birth of Norman Ashton Mandela's Eros Park. And the Minister of Youth and Culture, Bob the Grange, being the person hosting the chairperson of the function, said, I am now going to call upon the opposition leader because he asked me hurry up hurry up because may have somewhere to go this is a national part of the news that something is wrong he has no collective delivery of a good speech he has no such capacity and him lying the first presentation in parliament by new mp of north east St. Elizabeth, raymond price one of Raymond Price's presentation in that first budget speech was to say to the nation, the young persons who has had this spliff, charge for a ganja spliff, on their record, and it's hampering them moving forward. Mm -hmm. It is time to erase all. Raymond Price came to the parliament with those, with that policy. And the man kept lying that I him. All he did as a minister was to pilot it through the Senate legislatively. Mm -hmm. But the idea originated with Ray. My press, I watched the entire um, budget presentation because of the two of them, Raymond and Damien. I think that Raymond will be a better 
tape it to Prime Minister than 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 than, than price is more effective. Hold on, the list. One second. Real man is more effective. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, no man. Um, Raymond. So you know there are several other things too. When um, I don't remember who challenged him, and he went on a platform, a political platform, and we dancing in PJ. They were dancing to them at that table. the person he was responding to some parliamentarian, mm. and the thing that the man. Went for him, pick out the record, Dutty Bungle, calling parliamentarian, Dutty Bungle. Then there was the incident with, um, God of mercy, uh, man to do why so he is not cohesive, mm. right? He's not intellectual, he's a serious cause, he's a serious cause for concern, you know. But, of you know, course it is. but you see, P, when people say members of the PNP are wherever, where they're supposed to be cognitively adept. And when you say they are laughing about like the something with the shackles and the chain now, you think if our if our if our international allies in countries like Canada and the US and so forth, if them see my goal in a whole chain one man, neck, them no have nothing to do with him, you know. Cause that not acceptable no, in no time at all, you know. No embassy, that's not no embassy nobody, nobody. The, 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 the Prime Minister of St. Kitts, I think it was came to his arm. Is um conference in in some sense, but I that prime minister I think was invited by Dr. Phillips because he's friends with their friends. Uh -huh. But nobody, no embassy. I have never seen him at any function with the embassies, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 diplomats, uh, nobody really relates to him because he has no understanding. January 2021. November the seventh was the um PMP internal election for president. Mm -hmm. January twenty twenty one. Here you have this man coming to the PMP at the at the BS of Omar Davis and PJ Patterson, and them so trouble me, right? And what did the man do January first, twenty twenty one? What? Him organized a function. Saying that he launch is launching a ten million dollar fund and name it after somebody when I have nothing. No, anybody in a them right mind. When Burchell White man realize, you know, the Burchell White man disappear. Yeah, true. Right. So mm -hmm. me, if we the ordinary Jamaican recognize it, recognize that this man is not his cognitive skills are not. Present in Canada and the I know, say, I know, say, maybe, maybe at that, at maybe at that, Muta did a talk about in us, say, Andrew, I forgot to find one, one way if he go around or something, yeah. And guess what? Maybe that's why Andrew walk out of parliament car, you know, right for you. You understand me, I say? No, because if, um, if, if anybody, I, I agree. I am never, as I said before, I will, I've never voted and will never vote. I'm a member of the People's National Party. However, no human being, the man of flesh and blood, his wife is the Speaker of the House. They all embrace, they all congratulate, and they all support him. Mm -hmm. And if you knew this man bring, he point it out, him say your wife, the wife of the Prime Minister, this man brought it in. A, to a domestic situation when it was the national budget debate, any human being, Andrew did the right thing and I will not stop saying so. Because no other man, if I'm Michael Manley, let me tell you this, if I'm Michael Manley, a Mark will come in a garden house, come make one discharging of Mark about him, wife, Michael Manley was through the grass of and come to me and come to me and beat him up. May I tell you that? Mm -hmm. Michael Manley never go get up and Michael that beat him to a point in a garden house. No human be Andrew did the right thing and to hold him temper, bite him tongue, and get up and come out and your wife the man at table and him bring the domestic situation into garden house. Something wrong with the man. So and, and the man blood run through and the man get up. He did the dignified thing. 
he got up, took up his document and walked leave it. So look here. He couldn't go to a couple of companies now, kind of prime minister. But me I know, me know some man will never go ramp with him for my, you know, for, for start to come to him straight through the door and jump out him teeth and everything. Yeah, man. He was good. Out of order. And Andrew must be commended for getting and leaving. Leaving. Them say it takes two to tango. And a soft answer turn it away, Rod. And Andrew, a soft answer was to leave the chamber because the chamber had descended into a dirty, vulgar, nasty, crude situation. And the man did the right thing. I choose, a, I choose a from now on. They might just make Paul with the talking in there. You hear anything like that? Well, I know, but if it's true, this, of course, is the leader of the opposition business in the house. I missed a clip last night and uh, this morning. If they didn't answer Nigel to you know, Mark Gold, they didn't answer Nigel and point him finger. You don't do those things in the parliament. Mm -hmm. You point the finger threateningly. I I I I That is a different situation. You understand? The the, the manner in which he was doing it last yes, um yesterday at the closing. You understand? Yeah. It doesn't look good. This man is this man is not in a position capable enough to leave this country and the PNP and the MP. All right. All right. The PNP president is responsible to see that the administrative department, headed by the general secretary, mm. that the parties party is in tip-top shape organizationally. Mark Golden and not know nothing about the PNP and its organizational structure. On election day, you had divisions that had no worker. So my, oh, nobody can tell me, say, nobody can me. I was a, a graduate of the um, Vernon Army School of Political Education. And this man will have to do something destructing inside a garden before and you know what you I know say so, talking about boy cutting because we see one article come out i must observe her i went most a couple of days ago when uh it's the title said that the pmp was considering whether to boycott parliament or attend andrew's speech you know so at this point in time being that you look like Mark Golden have something wrong with him. I don't know how come me not diagnose him because that's not right i'm not qualified to diagnose him but seeing that something look like it is very wrong, me feel like say, maybe the government should say them now go back in there until PNP find a leader because you know nice the way almost oh, Nigel I deal with him, you know. That not feel that not look comfortable to me, you know. That's why I'm not watch it, you know. Because Nigel to understand say, if something is wrong with this man, him is gonna be the villain if him look like say my victimize somebody with disability. Don't it? Yes. So, you know, better than but them better than boy cut and say, PMP figure find a leader where them can spar with and argue with back and forth without it look like a victimization situation. All right, but but Nigel's, as I said, I knew what was coming, so I didn't bother watching when I saw the clips. No, no, all uh, Nigel, Nigel is taking a, uh, a situation, make it even worse than it is. It yeah. Is. When you come to the parliament with red card, it's not a football game. It's a parliament of nation. It's going be a puppy show so business. This mm. Yeah, this red card again was, uh, is an abuse. And you know that there's something wrong. But they, the government cannot boycott the, uh, the parliament. They can't do that. What them can they do then? They must can do something. No, least. No, well, there is a situation where you can ask the, the is it, I think it's a clerk. That the, the, the a particular MPs can be barred for a period. Like in the parish council, yeah. if you, a councillor, steps out of line, mm -hmm. then the mayor suspend them for three sitting, four sitting. Well, the same thing applies to the parliament, the lower house. You can be, the clerk can be asked to remove you from the, from the sitting and bar you for how long. Mm. But I don't know if they are going to take that route. Mm -hmm. But the PNP, the PNP part is the PNP MPs who KD Knight. 
KD Knight attended the parliament yesterday. Yeah. Why was KD Knight present? Because Keith Duncan or Keith Dennis Knight recognizes also that situation inside the people national party with a man up front is the tyranny he re he went there yesterday to make sure the par the parliament don't disintegrate worse make sure that as a senior statement who served in the parliament both lower house and upper house for so long is a brilliant legal mind and he held several ministry ministry of um, national security and justice simultaneously, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. So, KD, and somebody must have sent as KD to go because they see where the parliament is heading. No, Mark Bowling cannot manage, Mark Bowling cannot bring Peter Bunting in, in Kian bring him in. Mark Bowling is now Peter Bunting is pressuring him to try and force um, Andrew Ole to call. At not general election. Uh, he must say, I 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 because I have talked to several people and people even ask me. I mean, I said, boy, I'm mean, not feel it really too right for you know, talk certain things because I know it will grow good. But at this point in time, when you don't have no opposition and you have a group of people who are exploiting somebody who they know something is wrong. From a city video, you know, where he was in the parliament and I go, blue, 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 blue. I know say, that is a yeah that is a behavior that is uncontrollable and then when me, you know when I know something wrong when him did that do that bunting like you know when you are your picnic their church and them them say something out of line and like you yeah, juke them that the inside I said behave yourself I saw Mr. Yeah. Bunting I do with him Bunting yes. I elbow him with him I elbow him with him and then I said stop no man stop no man and I saw him calm down you know what I say yes so yes. a bunting are the one who exploit the man I'm a feel like yes, the, the people them were responsible. Like um, they must have one law where them can lock up Bunting for do that. Well, Bunting should have been charged with fraud when the um by election in East Portland was con concluded, and the letter was dictated by P.J. Bunting, wrote it, and Bunting then sent it to the media houses, sign. Peter Phillips name to it. Sign Peter Phillips. Farge, fraud, Farge. Yes, he should have been charged. Them leave him and make him come. And the exploiting, this is abuse, you know. It is. It That's what I said. There must be a law where them can't hold him for abuse. Yes, this, abuse of an adult. The, the, the members of parliament sitting there and maybe, um, 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 when name Jesus Odin, Father, no, Odin, sir. I forgot to do something dramatic, real dramatic, because it is cruel what the MPs of the PMP are doing. Him wife need to come, him wife need to come and get him. Him wife to come and you see, from from me, see them make him put up the chain. Look here, it the, in no context on the face of this planet is it ever okay for a man that look like Mark Golden to hold up no shackles over an Arasta man head. Me can tell you right now, say, if anybody in America see this, whether they are diplomat or not, look here, them jaw would have dropped to the ground. You know everything them call about racism in a foreign? Them mouth yeah. would have dropped to the ground. So them yes. who make him do them something here, him wife, should have seen this and say, no man, and come for him. Well, I understand that at home, uh, the, the wife faces racist treatment. That is my understanding. She faces racist treatment at home. Oh, God. That is all bad. That is my understanding. Mm -mm. I told you earlier, some time ago, there was a dinner organized at a posh restaurant in New York. And my friend spent the, the ticket was a good, uh, maybe a thousand US or more. 
mm. and they, it, it was sold out. And they said when Mark Wolin drove up to the it, the venue, Mark Wolin him say, my friend said, when they while they were there, they waited for half an hour. And Mark Wolin don't come out of the vehicle. You never see artistic child sitting in sitting and them have them on between them legs mm. and them turning them head. They said him say Mark Wolin don't come out of the vehicle. Half an hour they were waiting and Mark Wolin wouldn't come out of the the vehicle, they don't know what they were puzzled. Thousands of um, a good amount that not one, not thousand. A good amount that I think the place, the entire um, restaurant is a posh restaurant. Remember the name? It was sold out, and the entire seating capacity was was taken. I'm not going to go out of the vehicle now. You know, so the first time I see make a speech, first time he did up, yeah? the first time he did a speech in parliament as leader because he has spoken before and he seemed okay but when he made his first speech in the parliament as a leader the man was look him look like same was having a serious panic attack or something some type of anxiety because i've seen when i was in college you know we had like an english presentation in a in english course a presentation to do and I had never seen this before. This girl, she was like 25 years old. When she got up to go before the class to go make her presentation, it's like she became paralyzed. She couldn't talk. She couldn't move. She just had to shake her sweat and she started crying. The teacher, of a car, the professor of a Kiara go outside and Kiara go down at the nurse. But yes, the, and the first time he might, he might do it, I said, but I word this, then the man not talking in the parliament already. Where is the this anxiety I come from? You know? So I don't know if, because yes. sometimes when people like that, when they are put before an audience, they will use some, some very outrageous humor to make themselves feel comfortable at first. Mm hmm I don't know. So them, them, oh, them wrong, them wrong. I don't trouble, me not trouble him, you know? Know that know that this is being brought to the fore, and you know with it with the the video and the things them that are spoken and not being able to speak impromptu, fluently, cohesively, appropriately, all the things are there will make you really question it still. And me tell us something. I see the member of parliament them. We are continue exploit the man here. Trust me. Got a pip here something for Uno because it's not right. But most, but most, how can you be doing this? Is not only him they are affecting, you know. Them not them they are affecting the average Jamaican who wants to go to the pools and vote, but them know mm -hmm. one time we had um Bas there, he passed recently, bless um. God rest his soul, he's resting in power. Basde Opandi, the Trini he was elected prime minister in Trinidad. And Basde Opandi, them say, he, he became the, 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 the game stack of the Caribbean. Right? Mm -hmm. But he was never this bad because Basde Opandi could talk. He, he was in politics a long time, he became prime minister in Trinidad. He could talk. But it was what, some of the things that he said, but he could make presentations in, in proper manner. And and we talk for an hour, hour and a half, two hours or more. But this man has he cannot stand in front of you and make, put a proper presentation together for 15 minutes and can't do it. And me it hear, me hear people are talking about Donald Trump. I don't agree with that. I don't support Donald Trump. Donald Trump will go hold up a Bible. We know to God say him not him not him not nothing to do with Christianity. But Donald Trump would have never go make nobody give no shocker for all up a black people. So don't I don't think that's a fair comparison. Um, Super D, I don't think that's a fair comparison. No man, Donald, they can't complain him and Donald. Donald is a is a is a business can can man. Yeah. Donald sell Bible now for fifty dollar. Marcel Bible. <laughs> Marcel Bible. You're too lie. No, no. the man knows. Let me see to us like fifty dollar, fifty six cents, something like that. Our writing, the real Bible. Arafim Bible, yeah, and the Trump Bible. Me Bible, we only sell it to fifty dollars. My fundraise, prepare the 
two black women who survived to pay four hundred and eight million dollars. Poopa um, Jesus. We went into Jamaica. All right, the Jamaican situation is in a perilous way. It mm -hmm. is poised to topple over the the, the 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 edge, and the country. If everybody is scratching them in, what can we do? Because somebody tell me, I come and tell me long time, you know, come and tell from 2020, come and say, Princess, the MP, them, you're on him now, voluntarily go leave, you know, because Mark is in love. Mark has fallen in love. All right, you know what, child, when you, you, you grow up, um, um, you grow up and your mother buy, you wear them called pretty dandan frock and pretty dandan shoes. Yeah. And they came back with what? And you, Lord, you pretty dandan dan comes, so you're, you're happy and you're careful like a child. Well, Mark is in that, in that state of mind. Mark is, is having his pretty dandan dan because he's my opposition leader and he might get money and he might the pump and the project through the office. You understand? Mm -hmm. He gets invited to go, uh, I'm going to go here so, go here so, go talk to somebody. But, and him can, in the parliament, get up and him on TV. But he has no cohesive understanding of what the job really entails. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You understand? Mm -hmm. Him not have that. And the, the PMP MPs, them, none of them, it was very noticeable. Mm -hmm. was on the campaign. If you can call it campaign, none of them never campaigned with him. When the 2020 local, um, black, sorry, the local government election recently, him never go, none of them never did it with him. All the persons with him was Dayton Campbell, Angela Brownberg. And when him keep on the same win the election now. Uh, all right. That is delusional. That is delusion. That is bad. That is again a sign of health issues. Serious health issues. That is the, you lose. When he went down to the KSAC swearing in and he saw that the deputy mayor was JLP. All right, so him leave. All right, it doesn't sit. It doesn't sit like a opposition leader. That's another point. He must slouch forward in the chair as if he's um is having chest problems. He must slow and slouch forward. That mm. is not a cohesive um, person. You don't sit like that. Eh? You sit upright, and you sit with with with, with the, the the statue of opposition leader. But in the day, in the slow forward name here all the while. You know, say that time now. All right, if anybody are listening to this, we we know Nigel Clark, and them something there. I am gonna ask Nigel Clark for stop from. Stop from deal with Mark or so Ash. Yes. Stop in, it. He must be cool. Yeah. Yeah, he must. Yes, he must be cognizant of the fact that something is off, and don't do that because you see when I do that now, people are gonna view you as a very wicked person, knowing that something is wrong, and you yeah, further, you know, denigrate the person. That is not nice. You understand? And is mocking a disabled person, mocking the disabled, like Donald did. Yeah, don't it, do that. It, it, don't do that. That's why I'm not looking there, you know. That's why I didn't watch it. That's why I didn't watch it. Because he was going to come and, and mock him. Yeah. I didn't watch it. It is sad. But what is sad, man, is that KD Knight said it last year. He said, I have been asked. I am going to go mm -hmm. on the campaign through them. With, with Mark. And at and the first time, Liz, at the first time, eh? Angela Brown broke and everybody was stand up around the man. You think, say, other people not say, hey, them people are wicked, man, mama tell you. I could have, I don't know what they did, you know. I don't know what they did. You're a Christian for all your life, I tell you about sin. Mm -hmm. Angela Brown broke with sin. Oh, God, Angela man. Angela Brown broke with sin. I'm going to say with the sin. Slime. I won't tell you where the eye. I can't tell you where the eye is, but nasty. Mm -hmm. He is sin. Yes, mm -hmm. and she you know she is so horrible that she's using child stand up in here and a pine pan him. Oh, outside a god knows with her finger, a pint. You know, as if she tell tell the code with sign language, jeer him, jeer him. 
and Jesus Father, we say. Somebody say, Tori say if um if if anybody see say, Bunting was trying to continue Mark Golden budget speech in the Senate. You never hear it, Liz. Today, no, yes, yeah, somebody yeah. send a video come yeah. but two so long, I could have put it here. So, him in there, I'm yeah. going at it, I'm going at the end part of the speech. Can remember him write it, you know? So, he might try, yeah. he might try to finish it. Mr. The man, I try hard, uh, bunting look like say, if 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 if, if police never had to lock him up, he may then grab out, grab Anjo by the collar him shirt and chew him out of garden house. You know, believe me. Yeah, man. Mr. Two Pound one yeah. murder, two, yeah. two leader against yeah. Andrew Jesus Christ. No, so yeah. politics nice at Jamaica, people. Wanna type in our comments yeah. if politics nice at Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> no, and sir. It's and it's great. You have a whole heap of good playwrights, you know. I hope them are taking note. Miss if me did a Jamaica man, me make the theater them festive. You know, believe me, Jamaica have some good yeah, acting. You know? We don't forget one, we don't forget some people. And um, we don't just grow on the island and just go in at every, every high school or anywhere we can get for profile and just play out Jamaica political. A, a comedy, you know? Of course, a comedy, a sad else. comedy, a, a sad comedy. comedy. <laughs> Uh, all right nobody in the senate now listen now listen nobody in the in the house now listen mm -hmm. now follow my now. to me you want to know when 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 the pmp mp them because um 2001 mm -hmm. when the oh god um um farmer um, seen as who, mm -hmm. uh, what I'm wrong for. Adam said it, you know. Adam said, I will never forget the quote Jamaica is going to pay dearly, dearly, dearly. And this is what that means Jamaica is politics is paying dearly. Mm -hmm. The man them see it, the woman them see it, move Mark because Mark is incapacitated. Mark cannot handle the job. And please abundance. Yes, exploiting the man. Rosalie said, and he knows. Rosalie says she feel like my staff is sorry for me. Yeah, my staff is sorry for him. Yesterday, I tell him to say, Me that watch when Nigel at I met the talk. And when I see the camera zooming for Mark and him look like this, my staff me come off it because I can saw that what Nigel was saying made him really sad. A time yeah, now for Nigel, Nigel for stop it because. Nigel, and you are red carded, you are red card. It's a, it's offensive. Yes. And for what the, P, the PMP, look where the PMP come to. It's offensive. Look where your parliament come to. You can't tell a youngster, you know. You can't tell a youngster. No, no man. Mm -mm. Who don't want to come serve them country. We have to look on them and say, with them kind of situation, yeah. When we see the man look sad, so we say, oh, God, God. Nigel, Nigel, I you see? The war, let me tell you something. You see, I'll sum up on the government side where the whole on me ear on like a choir. They're upon Massa Mark, Massa Mark, and Juliet Oldness India. She never tell you to stop it. You know, one must recognize that there's something wrong and it is not nice. One or do, honest to God. It's not nice. A time, a time for nice. acknowledge. If you if you can't bother with it no more, just tell them say you're not coming back in there because you know the boy it's really hard to tell the truth still. But in a nice phone in there, I jeer him. You understand? And I make him look so sad. When we see that picture here yesterday, God know me nearly start crying because you can't see say when Nigel did I say that hurt him feelings. Of course, it's was. It's was. And him, and him might might have been, been, at, 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 you know what I'm lucky? As I say, you know, the last page that he can't carry um waiting if they can't be um going in. But my tell you say, we don't know if the children can give up, but when you may expect 
When is the time them are going to jeer him to him, take him get up and fling a chill over there? No, you're talking um, like a joke. It is not a joke. No, me not talking like a joke. It's serious. Because I swear I'm the one time I'm did in the one time um something somebody says something and him depan and him, him never stopping or bunting calm him down, you know. Yes, yes. So uh, Nigel yes. must stop from agitating him and Juliet Owen, and she's the speaker of the house. When she hear everybody in there ball up massa ma, them need to she of all people, she need to tell them to stop it. Yeah, it is because it has become so unpleasant to look in there. Yeah. And trust me, when I saw this picture yesterday, I show it, I send the picture come girl is. When you look on the picture, what the first thing come to your mind? How will you that think when you see? Well, yeah, man, that, this man is sick. No, man, them for top him, man. Me but like you speak. know something? The, the speaker of the house, Professor Neta Ford, she is going to she's going to confirm in the minds of the public that she is unfit as okay. You pointed out a valiant point. Why is the government bench was all shouting Martha Mark, Martha Mark, and she looked across yeah. and saw the look on his face. As a speaker of the house, you're supposed to be neutral. She should have then used her gravel and bring back some order. Yeah. But Professor Nettleford put it brilliant um, when he made up a, a quote. He said, a butto mm -hmm. in a bend will not become anything else but a butto. Not because they're in a bend, mm -hmm. but they will all be a butto. And it's me not, the me not cussy, me not cussy, me, me, me not want a bad blessing take me like about a saying, mm -mm. Eh? I don't want a bad blessing to take me, so I don't nah, nah cuss him up. No. You know who I rather cuss? No. The M better you cuss the MP them. Yes. Because I don't exploit the him. That's why the resistance is being, has been saying it. Look, the man cannot manage. He is wrong for the job. And the resistance pointed out to them from 2021. Peter Bunting. Peter Bunting is a vicious guy. Peter Bunting. You are Peter Bunting, and you have the ambition to be prime minister. Mm. Mark Bolin, when him see it, and you lose your seat, and you abuse the man. I that him do yes. Him, you know, him when him see it, and you lose your seat. He him, him, him him the man, man. Him tell the man for put him in the Senate, and Bunting know to him heart say. We don't do these things in a Jamaica. You come lose your three-term seat. I think we lost Liz here. Maybe she will call back. Him lose him three-term seat. And him make the man put him back in, put him in a descendant after the people and reject him. That in and of itself is a major disrespect to the Jamaican people. They vote you out and you take up yourself gone into the Senate. That's wrong. And him, him, nobody else wouldn't do that. And because him knows say. Eh, Certain things are rare. He met Mark Golden, put him in there. Yeah, for sure. You out for sure. That, hey, some people who walk on the mother grave, you know. But me hear people talk them something that I can't imagine it. But we're looking at it right here. Bunting will walk on his mother grave to get his way. I just true. Me no, me no want the thing look away. It's me that care the video come show no. Care the video come shown when Mark Golding was um acting out in Parliament and Bunting take him on and I juke him in his side and I tell him to stop it and for behave himself. Liz, thank you I'm for calling back. That. That's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. We got we got I, I was a call came in from Japan and I had to tell him that I can't talk to him now. Everybody um, I call you, where's it from Japan? Yeah, my nephew is in Japan. I'm going to teach. Oh, I think you're global. Okay. Can you global over no, here, no. Sammy? <laughs> 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 hey. Yes, Joe is calling you. son calling you. Yeah. No. Yeah. And he's saying that, you know, it. it, it remember the politics, right? Mm -hmm. The politics is the PMP, 8 to 5, 8 to 6. 85 um at September 18. The JLP is 70. No, the JLP is in office. 
things is not going great in the country. So here, you should have a uh, the cohesiveness of the of the opposition should be should be so effective that the entire country, the hardcore hardcore mm -hmm. the labor right, I gotta say yes. Yes, the PMP ready because of the presentation them with them here. That nah uh -uh. Mm -hmm. that nah uh -uh. violence um national security bad, transportation bad, education bad, housing, water, life, health, road, sports, entertainment, um, foreign affair, foreign trade, um manufacturing you name it but the, up the government the people have to keep going under the agony and the pain with the Andrew Olness administration the a local government the key key factor to develop any nation to carry a nation forward mm. your community local government but the people them have to stay with Andrew because the alternative not the, the, the quality alternative for them are looking is not there. Mark went out. And Mark was campaigning for Mark. Mm -mm. He never campaigned for the councillors. He never campaigned for Mark and the people that reject him. Mighty God. So look here now. Can you imagine the next voter? Liz, what do you predict the next voter turnout going to be? Because we have one year to the next election. Look up army able look less than that too. But no, man. if the child no, if man, there's no do. if there's the no alternative, is. you know if you said the, the labor rights supporters them just are gonna say you know what we not on a reason for God they go vote because there's no alternative and they also look a bit of people come out. Yeah and when the little bit of people come out you get it when you get little bit of people get him Go out there at the JP going again. Father God. All right, well. Somebody yeah. said they haven't seen Dayton lately. I see him lately. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lord I'm not, I'm not I'm not not only seen him but I went big some time up here. Yeah man, yeah man. We talk again. We'll catch up. All right. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you. Yeah, guys, so Nigel Clark, if Nigel over here, can Nigel, you love social media and they record you, my love. But if you're over here, Nigel Clark, do not go back in the parliament and do them something that we see you do with Mark Golden. Stop it. God will see you. Honest to God. From this man become leader. Me never seen face look like this yet. And when you're in a parliament, Nigel, and you say, my liar, and you say, the whole of a jury, and say, master, mark, and so, it really hurt him feeling. And I feel like, I feel like, say, only nothing do it. As a God. I mean, if you want to criticize him, try to do it in a way that does not sound so vile and look so vile and make him look so sad. Because I know everybody have the skin enough to deal with them kind of work, you know. And clearly, this is not good. This is not nice. So, Nigel, don't do that anymore. Because, as I say, God will see you for them something here. Me understand, say it's a debate, John Black. But this is extenuating circumstance. And hear Muta explain everything last night. And true Muta does not want to be the bad guy. Him don't come out and come put no label upon it and go in and about the health, health history and them things. So him just go around it look a bit. But what I'm really I say is, you know, you're going to need to use a lot of restraints because you're not dealing with, you know, the typical, you know, opposition to government kind of situation. Remember, we have kids are watching you know? When I want our kids to go to school and I jeer people and them something there. So, Nigel, the onus is on you. The rest of them were in the background and shout and I say, Master Mark, want to stop it. Please, me, I beg you know. It not look good.
it don't look good. Um, hold on, let me read a few more comments before I come off of here. Um, you yeah, laugh. Marlene, it's not a joke thing, you know. I don't think it's a joke thing. Because regardless of what, you know, a man is a man is still a man. I think a Peter Morgan sing that song there. A man is still a man. And then everybody can control the emotion under these circumstances. But I don't really see no need for Nigel going there or do them something. They stop it, man. If you make a presentation, make a presentation. If the man says something inaccurate, just say it's inaccurate. But the way I soon not deal with him, that's why I'm not watching again, you know. Because I can't tolerate foolishness for too long. Camille say it take on a long for realize that he's not well. Camille, I know over here for thought that, you know, go over, go over the MP, them page, and the Senator, them page. All of them who have him out there exploit him, go over bunting page and tell them that. My people, them grow me good enough, so. Me not going to run out here and come, you understand? Me not going to be the first one for run out here and come say Ray Ray. But the way I see them I deal with him right now, me not feel it need to get this so. If you have to criticize, criticize. But, you know, the name calling and, I mm -mm, feel like it's going to go a little, a little too far, you know. So why when they're telling Warmington? I know him tell Warmington for come out. I thought it was Julian who said that. If Mark Golden is unwell, then for God's sake, someone from his party must do something. You know, see so the world of my exploiter. The people them. The people them where um where is he out there? I put him on front line. They are the ones who are the exploiters. Angela Brownberg, Julian, and the rest of them, they are the ones who are bunting at the chief exploiter. So maybe it's time that we come to the reality, guys, and, you know, just leave him. I don't know more to say about this money after tonight, yes, sir. Because I'll do. I don't, don't have babies, you know. Me nah no, me nah no, don't worry about like them because they say if you have more baby or if you're pregnant, you must not trouble people. But at the same time, me nah want to watch up off a edge up and shoulder. So me nah not move to say about this man. Yeah. Hello, good night. Good night, Natalie. Good night, you're live. What's up? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I I agree with I agree with Nigel if you say that because when you come out and you telling lies and then and you don't, you keep your mouth shut, you have to come out and, and eat back. No you man, but there's back, a you know? there's a way to do things yeah. and what, what we're saying is that there seems to be something wrong and that they should not treat Mark Golden like well, I me mean, never want to talk certain things still. Tell you the yeah, truth. When you hear Peter Todd said, if you live in a glass house, don't throw stone. Because the man threw it back, I hope you can take a blow. But so, this is a different circumstance, you know. That's what I'm saying, is this is different circle. No, Mouth attack it, you know, you know. And then come when you come out and tell a lie, see people and Jamaican people believe you when you're telling lie. And if if they keep their mouth shut and don't come and clarify it in front of him and talk behind him. Person said, why you never say it in front of him? So the man didn't come out and read the thing in front of him and said, where you lying? So you tell the man, in front, and when he sees that, it's bothering him and he can't say anything now because everybody see where you lying because the man have every fact to show him. I agree with, I agree with, the, I agree with the man. I would do the same thing because if someone come out and, and spreads things on you, no, Natalie, 
and you take it down and you have a chance. When he in front of him, you're going to wait until he moves. You never say it in front of him. You're going to say it when you reach to Mandible. You're going to say, oh, he was this and that. And you was up in Christiana. And you never say that when you was talking. You wait, you wait until you're there behind him. No, so I, I agree with it. Say it in front of him and make you defend yourself and say, but oh, the man showing everything on the chart in front of him and show him when he said, and when he come and spread him. So you have to clarify those things. Well, you have yeah. to clarify those things. I think it's the right, at the right time, at the right place, you do that. That's why him look at Julian and say, listen, you might can sell Julian this, this. They cannot say something against you because you can, I cannot trust you know, if the leader is not there because the leader is there with something different to say. But so all those things, you have to show people like that. But we are not. You know what? You know what's the sad part about this? It is very likely that Mark Golding did not create that chart. So for him to be sitting there as the leader and taking all that, and I'm gonna start calling it abuse, okay? For him to be taking all that from Nigel, maybe it's it's unjust because I know him write it or not, I know him do the chart. I don't think I him do it, you know. A good old Julian are even bunting do it. And give him to uh, um, and give him and make them say uh, him do it. Have uh, him sit down there taking that kind of um taking those kind of um licks from Nigel and him look so sad. Maybe he must say, but look here, not even me write it and, and, and look on them something here. Don't you gonna read something before you before you come out? Don't you gonna read something over when somebody gives something to read before you come and say it? Because Nigel approach it the right way. He makes sure he explain it in, in, in every single way. He said, if you have problem, you talk about the problem with the speaker. You don't come and talk about the husband of a person or a wife of a person. You come, it's like you, 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 you're criticizing human and you use that for human. And he, and, he, and he go on and go on and say all those things. And he, he put it to him that he understand. Even when he get up and go to the bathroom and come back, it, it, it was just on him wait and he'll come back. And he said everything in front of him, he just sit down and looking so sad, as you said. But that's all you have to make him look so that he, he will think before he said something. Then you feel comfortable. Let me ask you something, Carla. You, mm -hmm. Do you feel comfortable when you see the man in there looking so sad? Do you feel comfortable seeing that? Me not feel comfortable seeing that. When me feel, com me feel comfortable seeing that it's just a taste of Oh, oh, you remember, you remember why the Prime Minister wake up when the man, if me, if you use my wife and a boy attack something against you, you know what I'm saying? Me, me, get, me, get, me get mad too. I'm upset when you're never supposed to reach this. So if you say something, you talk, but don't talk. Say what you have to say, but don't say. Call your name and say so forth. So this is it now. So to them said, when you, if you jump, you jump out a fire, you jump in a frying pan, a person says something, you you say something and you come out publicly and talk and feel up and talk everybody jump up and say oh mark your win your win and you and yourself and then thing that but in the other yeah, man come out and come address it and address it in a way in in in, in, in when they did a man they must say lion i background he never can say say you is a liar then say you just flip flop no one can trust you and and those things and it's a red card so I agree with I agree with Nigel because I would do the same thing. No, so I, would, uh, I I believe I believe now when I'm a believer, high if you're high, you know. No, because you now come say something against me. You now come say something against me, and I'm um, publish the and say you do this and this is happen here and this is happen when it's alright. It's just like a part program when him said, "Oh, this part program start under Portia Simpson and whatever." Then the man come back and come to make it people you know, say, continue to say, no, you, you come and spread in false news and, and think that's a red card. It starts under Bruce School and, 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 and Adley Shah. So to come back and take and do not spread, spread, spread in you know, a propaganda. But you must say, don't spread those things. You're cutting out things and the man has show everything and charge to make it people see. There's people who are watching who know. To see and what's about you see, I hear Lisa, Lisa something. I hear Lisa something. You have many people in Jamaica now no? where they don't listen to news, they don't read, they, they don't do a lot of stuff. So when a person says something, they just run with it and don't listen. Where a person said, that's why I said 
the people they might invite so many people at, at your show and they love it because you don't talk one side you just you just talk reality mm -hmm. so they learn from from at your show because some person comes in and say oh thank you oh lovely your show is well thank you well what may oh, i say oh, still if thank you thank you for the call thank you for the call and um why well, i mean i know i'm confused because what may i say still nigel if Nigel want to scold people and you know them thing that he better Nigel talk to the rest of the people them in the parliament, you know. Talk to Julian, he might have, he might have shadow somebody for finance. Talk to the rest of people them, but you know really you know really look too nice for oh Nigel I do my wanna talk in a comment and tell me if me if me I be um tell me if I'm being um unfair. Would you would you mark somebody like Mark Golden? I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. I feel like there's a boundary in everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, from a city, I don't, I don't look back in at the parliament again. No. I think say it's time that everybody face the reality. And, you know. Just stop. Just stop. Don't, don't. Just stop. You know, look good. Better you tell the opposition, them say, look here. We no need to fix up over there, sir. So. so that's we can have some serious discussion in here. But can be a gimmicks thing I go on to. That are the next thing. I'll be a gimmicks. You know, and people who are looking on for substance and wanting to hear what is really happening in the country and what plans these people have. Nobody want to nobody wanna look in there and see them jeering this man here. Turn the whole thing in our mockery. That don't make sense. I me see what Lisa talk about now sitting around. God never seen me. So that's why I implore people to stop. People in P and just people in Jamaica alone are watching parliament. You have people in the diaspora look. You could all have some, some people are looking at gather intelligence and all them kind of sitting there. When you can in there and the whole on a short master mark of him. And he is sitting there looking so sad. You know, look good for the country, you know. I first place that people look when they're looking at Jamaica in your parliament. It don't look good. And if Liz can see say something wrong, Uno was sitting was sitting in a parliament with PhD and law degree and all kind of something. Uno must can see say something is wrong too. And treat the situation accordingly. Right? And if Uno want to go a little further, look at the opposition MPs. Tell them publicly that they need to stop from exploiting Mark Golden because that's what they're doing. They're exploiting him for their own selfish gains. Anyway, I can't read all of them. If I read all of them comments here tonight, I'll go there all four hours. And, um, I can't. Me no say I them start it, man. But what I am saying, this is a different kind of situation, guys. Sometimes we have to make human compassion prevail and don't go down the road there. If phone a pitney, um, if phone a pitney have a disability and go to school, you no know, want to send anybody to jail on the kids? No. Me not believe in that. I don't believe in it. I now come back out and come talk about that man here, you know. As I say, I don't want, I don't want a bad lesson follow me, so. I now say, I tell you, when I come to talk about tonight, and Liz come bring my attention to something very serious. And I go take the high road for now one here. Like Andrew, I go take the high road. I agree with Liz that something, something appears out of the ordinary. That's the... Nicest way I can say it. 
and the nicest way I would want to say it. And may God have mercy on the soul of Bunting, who is the real exploiter in this situation, and everybody else who comes sit down in there on that side, knowing that something is wrong. You people are wicked. Me not lie. Me not know how to do it. Honest to God. But anyway, guys, um, I came and told you about what happened at the embassy in the year 20, was around 20, 2014-ish when Portia was there. Me feel so bad right now. Me not even going to repeat it. So, you don't have to watch back your live. You understand? And that is why you don't see a lot of interaction and activity between members of Congress in America with the PNP like you would normally see. Okay? That's all, that's all I will say in closing here. Anybody who want to hear what the beginning of the statement or whatever, the opening statement. We're not gonna rewind and watch. We're not talk nothing more about this man here. Yeah. Mm hmm. What's wrong, me guys? Wanna talk the truth? Hello. Good night, you're live. Yes, I agree with the caller. I am personally agree with the caller. I'm sorry, you sound you sound a bit muffled. I think you may have your your hand over your speaker. Okay. Mm, better. I agree with the caller. Because if you try to belittle me, I am going to do it to you. And I think honestly, I think Nigel did that did a good job. I think Nigel face the man and tell him exactly what he is doing. I believe that you can, I don't believe when I do something wrong and you try to um, give me right. No, Nigel did the right thing. I love your, your, your show. I listen to your show every night, but I agree with Nigel this time. So you know, you know, you know, feel say, you know, feel say, um, under the circumstances, with with Mark Golding and so forth, you know, feel say, we maybe can want to try to exercise a little bit of restraint and compassion, as what Muta suggested yesterday. Listen, listen, my love. Um, Mark did wrong. Mark abused. Um. The situation when he went up there and started to abuse um, the, the government wife. No, if you, as the, as the caller said, when you abuse my family, then I am going to react and totally agree with Nigel. Okay, I am totally agree with him. I totally agree with every word that he said. Because I did not listen to the, to Nigel's speech, but after you, after I listened to the, your program yesterday, I went and I listened to the speech that he gave, mm -hmm. and the analysis that I get is, um, he, he did nothing wrong. Okay then. All right. Have thank. Good, yes. Please. Thank you for calling. Have a good night. Okay. I can't tell nobody what to do and for feeling, you know, guys. But one thing we me never do, I never go at no disabled people. Because I know about the thing when you know what goes around comes around. You understand? So if any individual, including Nigel, want to continue doing that while everybody's looking on, go right ahead. But me not going to do that. Data are not disabled. Data are not disabled. You know, me, 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 me boss liberty back on data too. But if data are disabled, me then I will send it back to him. When you keep on and say Mark has set up himself and so, 
him don't write the speech, the man do the presentation, them electro. And them give it for do. And at the end of the day, he's the one sitting there looking all sad and feeling horrible. And I him do, and I him write it. And them, that's why I, I tell you, I said, I'm an exploiter. And them, I exploit him. And them need to stop it too. They need to put somebody there who can make arguments. And when, when, when uh, make sensible arguments, you know, and be, be honest and be truthful, you know, and somebody who, who can take it sometimes. This man can't take it. And them wicked. And them are right. You know, see, you know, see Bunting come out, come up on TV this said night. When him realized that everybody are born him out and I say, is a budget speech. You should not come with personal attacks in a budget speech. Right? And him go up on TV, go defend him speech because him write it. They are the ones who are giving him these things to do. Good night, Electro. Welcome to the program. You are live. What's up? I just there and listen and embrace, you know, but you may say, I understand the sympathy where you have for Mark, yeah? Yeah. But we feel like, yeah, put him down worse than he really is, you know. Mark have a problem, yes, but Mark is Mark, Mark, not as stupid as you are making him out for me tonight, you know. Oh, me, I put him down on me, I say, I, mean, I beg, me, no, I beg for you. No, but when you put down, you know, when you say something wrong with him and people, it is not as stupid as you make it out to be. So, and what you say then? If somebody write that speech and I'm giving, yeah? Mm hmm The way him come across, you know, the parliament, him set himself up for people come back at him. And as I call as before, he say, if him never got that low, Mark, you know, Nigel, Spunk him yesterday, you know, but Nigel never really got on in you know, the gutters of such. You know. But if them give him the speech for talk and him go to go talk the speech, what are you blaming him for? So we look on it this way you now. If by some chance after the next general election, him end up being the prime minister. And so people are just give him speech and him go in front of the international audience, but us read anything without fact checking or read over him speech and all of that. Well, maybe they're going to put somebody for money time or maybe at that point they will all come together and say, let us put somebody else there or something. Well, if I saw the case, I need to do it now because we're happening at the parliament needed for happen. You can come out as well people and say and swing at people the way you come and swing. Mufi say man want to better. Up on your shoulder. It's not going to happen that way. Murphy said, don't know no better. That's why I'm doing it. Bunting, could I give you that the speech I forgot? Huh? In a budget? No, but I'm going to say, if somebody gave him a speech, he should at least reread him speech before him. Read him speech before him go present it. You can't just go stand up in front of the audience and then when you read, you realize, say, I read something will make you look good. Then what part of maybe he does not know better, don't you understand? Maybe he does, maybe he trusts the people. Yeah, him yeah, trust. yeah, 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 beat him too, but when you say no, no, better, man. Him no, no man, no, man. Look here. Him go, him go high school with Bunting. A people where him trust. So when them the people that give him speech and them sitting there, he has no need to reread it. He trusts that uh, they will no. do the right thing. That's all I'm saying. Say this now. I'm say this. They are, they are saying, they are saying, mm -hmm. yeah, that they are no honest criminal or they are no honest thieves. You know, if you know some people deceptive like yourself, you must know, <laughs> you must know, <laughs> saying that some way she park for them will deceive you too. You know? No, man. You're not going to think that. You're going to think, say, you're my friend. You're not going to look for them to do that to you. No, man. There's no, I'm say, him if you understand the circumstances where well, enough because guess what? If him trust something like that, him no must can trust everybody else. We don't know who and who was him speech right. God almighty, the situation bad though. Me not lie. You know, look good at all. I mean I stop no, no, call it exploitation. They might exploit and the exploit the man. Look good. No. But as I'm say, him set himself up for that. Him set himself up for it. Then yeah, no, he said, Nigel can go easy now. Well, him go, him go, him go, him go easy, of course. Cause him, him go spunk him yesterday and I hate that. I don't expect him to follow him up. 
But I'm going to say I'm setting myself up for that beat now yesterday. Okay. All right. Thank you for calling then. Jesus. Yeah, man. You're most welcome. Thank you, yeah. Camille, where you come talk about um me me sound depressed? I'm for depressed over. My belly full, you know? Right on a piece of bun and cheese, more come off of this and go eat and come go to my bed. What do you mean by depressed? Depressed about what? Talk, but talk in I comment here, so Camille. What do you mean by me sound depressed? If one of you beat anybody at this time, one of you beat because he might exploit the man. No. Well, this well, this come say. If I feel a way, I'm not tell a lie. I'm not honest with you. I feel a way. I feel a way. Certain things I don't like, so I am gonna leave this man alone. Bunt today, somebody said bunting more much like potato. We can't trouble bunting, you know. Yeah, we can't trouble him. Mm hmm So man who come up via on the love the arms house. Christine, you yeah, tell me if I go and talk. I bet say if me did a talk about Juliet Oldness sir Anjo. Oh, that come on, come over here so I can call me by us. No, man, I don't say no sense, man, but I say them I deal with him too wicked. That's what I'm saying. You know, so the man face it, look. Big man can look so over once, over, um, you know, I look back and forth talking at the parliament and so. No, sir. I missed that I locked my lock off my computer yesterday. Bunting look like Peter Pan. I first made that one there. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Hello, good night. Yes, um, when he went there and disrespect Portia with among all those people. They, they don't think that he knew what he was doing. Lady, may I tell you, say, after when Liz say, may I have to start thinking different now, okay? Maybe. No, man. You see, sometimes, uh, as the caller said, if you get a, 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 a message to deliver on paper, you're going to read what you get. You're going to look over what you get. And it, it Mark did wrong. Remember when time the, the, with the, in the local government election, mm. he was so, 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 so uh, crushing down everybody. You, 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 you put on the jacket, the jacket fit you. What Nigel did, Nigel did not do anything wrong. Nigel faced him right there. All right, so when, when people start calling Nigel wicked, you know, I hope we're not complaining, you know, because you know, support Nigel clearly because maybe you support the party. But you know, there are no. independent people looking on, and they must say, No, you understand what I'm saying? Not that you support any party, I am living in America, so I cannot support a party. But let me tell you something, I that man, um, Golden, abuse people. So when abuse come to him, he must take it. Then under the first time them I do them something, when them ball out in them face and say, Master Mark, that was horrible to see. That was horrible to hear. My and, love. Eh? My love. Listen, you know, remember the man say, you know, him, him, him and him top and all his people, you know, him no count, they look like a crap, they don't have all the dumb, you know, him count him top and all his people. A bounty not tell him to say so. No, but him a big man, him a grown man. Me have my grandkids them, and I cannot tell my grandkids them what to say. Because they say it's freedom of speech, they talk for themselves. You, him, him, as a leader, as a leader, as a leader, 
You think a leader is supposed to sit under anybody's um, wing and take what they said? He must have his own speech. He must do his own thing. Don't listen to Bunting. Don't listen to anybody. Listen to yourself. So you really feeling of yourself say him write that speech and Anna Bunting write it for him? Even, even my love, even if it's Bunting write it, or uh, him write it, him supposed to read the speech before he go into parliament. Him supposed to read it. You tell me, say, never, you just get up blind and read it there. And when you're reading it, you see what you're reading? You know, look here. You know, I'm not saying him write it. When him stood in the parliament a couple of months ago and said, him, him um, endorsed Juliet Ones being there. Bunting write something contrary to that. If Mark Golden didn't read his speech, he made a note say nothing got talk so because he was in there endorsing it and Bunting was not in there. So this idiot I write the speech like say he might go deliver the speech and set up the man. They might exploit a man. No, but as I said, as I said, my love, you I you're going to school, you're in class, you get an an essay to do. You have you are in a group. And the group write the essay for you. You are going to sit and over and look over what is written down there before you go up there and make a fool of yourself. Don't. Normal minded people do that, lady. I don't try to forget to understand. I don't me not, me not want to talk certain things. You understand what I say? Yeah, but you know, you have, you know because you have that little sad face there. It is, it, the sad face, all right. You see, when you do think that is wrong, mm. then that is the time you're going to understand yourself. I think because he, he know that he was wrong. So what he, do, he, he, what he did, he, he was so sad of his behavior. Not sad of the thing that Nigel said to him, but sad of the way he behaved. You feel so? Yes. All right. In most, in, in he is sorry for himself, if he go up there and make a ass of himself, don't. Well, maybe he feel embarrassed the way Nigel and the whole of them are ball off him and call him Master Mark. And the speaker now <laughs> try to help him. All right, listen. If you go up there with a chain and a shackle, what are you telling the people? I'm going to put it on you. Them say, That's them you, say. That, that, is, that is where I am going. Them say, them say, Matt, him, them say it was meant to depict him taking it off because the shackles are Anjo shackles for the people. And, and listen, the next thing again, if me know me have a madman, uh, you cannot put an insane person to run a country. Then uh, that's why I'm telling you yeah. to stop from cost mark and cost bounty in them. You can't put somebody when I have no sense to run a country. Come like said, hold on, come figure up on me tonight, lady. I want go on. No, love. We love you. We love you. I, <laughs> no, I but me, 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 I try to be a decent I human being, and I say. I would not listen to your show. I, I stop listening to other people's um, show, and I just focus on your own. Yeah, but I feel like say, I feel like say, a gang on a gang me. Cause me, me, I try no, exercise, look at decency, no. and I say, all right, take time with the man, cause. That face, the boy, that face, the, it, it, it does make me feel a way in myself. You understand? No, no. You, you, have, you have to point out, you have to point out something when the person is wrong. Because, all right, I can say something, you know, within myself, I don't, I don't feel like I am wrong. But when somebody point out and say, this is where you went wrong, then I am going to look in myself and I said, you know that I was wrong. You know the distance that Mark did not do yesterday right. when he when is and is not to say I am sorry for what I did. No, I'm not gonna say sorry, I want to him now. Tell us sorry. I and you know why not he, he never say that? Mm. In in if he's sorry for himself, that's why he never say nothing. Oh god man. Nigel, may I may I, may I have they gonna for stop it? And Juliet Owens, when she hear them something there, they might call him Master Mark. Them remember say, people abroad and people in the region and so watch the parliament. That not nice, you know? Who don't know if he said that embarrassing? Then when he embarrassed the, 
the, the wife of the prime minister that was a big embarrassment lord that, god man how, how, how are you gonna throw a stone at somebody i don't want somebody to throw back stone at you this can go I, so I am i am going to throw a stone at you but you still i cannot take when you throw that stone at me Mm-mm. Me not like me not like what I can't me can't look back in there you know, until and I decided to just leave in there until them find some sensible people for advocate for the people them for the people them behalf. Cause this you know sister this not gonna work. This this is very embarrassing. Look 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 at all those. Remember, you know, Nigel put up the when when it when 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 Mark went in there and out of all those charts and things like that. What do you think he was doing? He was trying to belittle the government. When he put up all those charts, he was trying to belittle the government. So Nigel have to eat him back and let him know say this what you did is wrong. A bunting at me keep on a telling me say no you mad do it a bunting I do it. But my love, him, him is a big man. Is him is a grown man. You cannot live under the influence of another person, and you want to run a country. I mean, you yes. Want... The truth of the matter is that was a blatant lie. I don't even know what to call that at this point. I don't even want to say the wrong thing about the man at this point. The way Mister Nigel had a dog walk and I do the man, but what 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 he what what they did was very deceptive and it's almost painful to watch because you know you can't see the deliberate the deliberate attempt to undermine somebody when you're gonna show partial partial facts you know that's not right but at the same time good god almighty wanna stop and think no man no but but listen if i have my daughter i have my child and my child do something wrong. Don't you think I am the mother I supposed to correct that child? Yeah, then that's why them for tell bunting them and Paul will them for correct the situation. But what them I do is them a, them a embarrass him and make the thing look bad inside of the parliament. I that me not like. At the at the first call I said, at the first call I said to you, if you are in Mandeville and there's a situation, all right, all right, that so you are in Mandeville and you have your 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 your, 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 your family member or your friend or something and the family member says something or the friend says something to you that was not um credible you see mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you're gonna say it at the point in front of the person face you don't wait till you go behind this back and then you say something and criticize i believe in saying something in the first face me, and me, me I agree did, with it too. Me, correcting in the face me agree with it too but hear what you feel like say by nigel doing that and make him look sad that i teach him a lesson don't it yes you are right watch and see i will watch parliament when i look back in there watch and see if him now will do it again well you see it it's what i'm telling you yeah but there's it's no what end to it in the learn in the learn from the mistake so what you do with somebody who don't learn from their mistake well it, it's for the pnp you now to get rid of him they're not better i'm just tell them that i'm done now for billy on yourself and i mock this man no but how can they tell tell the pnp to get rid of him maybe them can write a letter i don't know well i don't know i, I agree with my nigel i totally agree with him have a blessed day yes man care, thank you for I calling I enjoy your program. I listen. I make when seven o'clock come. I make sure I have my phone in my hand, listening to you. Thank you. All right. Thank For, you. Yeah. Have a blessed day. Yeah. You too, guys. The wala on a comfy gang me tonight. It look like it, right? Nobody me not, may I read every comment. I may not see none. I no say. You know, have a look at human compassion. The people them who are supposed to bring down a decent man writers and them who are exploiting. You know, understand?
What do you mean by at least diagnose him? You know, you know, you know why I come here so come talk certain things that I don't want to say. Okay? Don't do that, man. You know, you know, you know, you know, something is wrong. Eh? Everybody in the parliament have had to take some kind of, some embarrassing moment, whatever. This man look really, really sad. You can't bring down somebody where you can't manage them something. I don't, may I try to tell you no. When I talk some something at the comment, I'm kind of disappointed. Honest to God. Mm -mm. Yeah, now I'll put up Melissa picture. But when I say to you, to, um, I don't know if you can go and say this to me. I pinch nobody tonight and talk that one here. Normally, I whisper and tell you nothing and pinch and tell you something. But here one now. I know so somehow, no? Probably like Juliet Holness, love Juliet Holness, whatever. But she now nah make it no better for her husband. Remember, I know, guys, I'm telling you something. I have been blogging, I picked now one or 15. May I blog now for about 13 years, 13 or 14, one of them. And I have never been on the wrong side of the debate become a think about stuff think it through and measure out the thing before me come open my mouth nobody never come say you did say this or you know me put my foot in my mouth i may tell you no say anjo need for I want the video name. I put up one video today. I ask a question and say, if Andrew Olness has been emasculated, you don't need to watch it. You don't watch it and come back tomorrow and tell me what you think. Because I'm feeling that I feel and it looks like he's being emasculated. Mm -hmm. That's what people are saying. And people are saying, boy, you know, look good and rare. And only nobody comments or come tell me about a strong woman. Don't do that. First of all, I don't even like that term. You understand? Me like me rather the term um, you know, a woman that is ambitious. Because you see that strong woman term there. You see the woman them, we and we want to undermine the man them, and them are come out and talk about strong woman, them no need no man. Right? And this is what is turning off a lot of men. I don't go use that term. I know my strength, you know. But I don't need to come out come ball out in on body face and me is a strong woman. So I would rather say I'm an ambitious woman. Right? Me independent. But I know when to fall back in my femininity. Because it's one time some woman them behave like soldier man. I so then turn off a man and the man them go out, they go do the things them with other people. Man like no matter what you see some man go on like say them love this strong woman, strong woman. Them like a woman in her femininity too. Right? Nobody now question, nobody intelligence and rare. When you look for um, Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama is a liar, you know. She's very brilliant woman. And when her husband was there, she gave her husband room to work. She never got enough up herself and run going at the thing and rare and run going at politics and in at the Congress and at the Senate to make nobody come talk nothing. She want her husband go in pan a clean slate and come out pan a clean slate. A people with critical thinking skills will understand them some day. It's not about who is stronger, who is intelligent, and who is beautiful, and who is black. That's not what it's about, you know. But yes, it's somehow you know, only gonna find out when it's too late because. When I advise this man wrong, I mean, no, Andrew, watch social media. He might watch social media and he might watch what is being said and listen to what is being said. Me, I'm going to do like some people you know, and tell people they want to hear, you know, I always start the truth. Yes, I always start the truth. And that's why my friend them love me because they know so I never tell them the truth. Even if me and them have to follow out for a couple of days because I tell them the truth, 
then so be it. But them, them are gonna say, me not lie to them. Me not tell them what they want here. If them put something to me, me go tell them the truth for their own good. And at this, we need to stop with politicians in Jamaica. When the truth must talk, tell them the truth. Because some politicians, they appreciate people who speak the truth. Even if the truth come down upon them sometimes, they appreciate it. Me don't want nobody to come butter me up. I want somebody to tell me the truth. Although tonight on a gang me still, but you know, me that rather hear the truth. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave now. Tomorrow. What's on the agenda for tomorrow? Let us see. That was supposed to be on the agenda tonight, but I push it back one night. Tomorrow now, we we'll never hear why um these guys lost their seat and they cannot go back. To where they were before. Right? I'm talking about the bunting. May I talk about the um Dayton Campbell and the Ian Eels. I mean, even with bunting, him leave central Manchester. Well, actually, they kicked him out, right? And rather than exercising humility and go back to the people, and since he still want to be in representation of politics, instead of humble himself and go back to the people and say, listen, where did I fall short? What did I do wrong? Him go away. I see what happened. Rhoda lose our council of them. Now, if him did smart, and if him did humble, and if him did decent, him could have, him could have did it now and say, you see it? She lose her whole her accounts to them area and play them local politics or whatever. But the question that a lot of people have been asking, and this is why I may come do the live there tomorrow. The people them are asking, why is it that these guys, they're like a rolling stone gather no mass. Rolling stone. Then they're all over the place. Why can't they go back to where they were? This is what we're going to come talk about tomorrow. And Liz, our correspondent, is going to come and break it down for Uno. Right? Uno got here. Why they have to lift up. And they're all over the place. I try to show out other people. Because they cannot go back to where they were. So don't miss that tomorrow, guys. I thank you for your participation. Um, including... Those of you who don't agree with me, uh, all of you welcome gang me. Make sure you guys are sharing the channel and sharing the content. Please, guys, before you log off, please give the live a like. Remember, when you come out, you can't stress out on your money. When you come out, you can't bother, bother. When you make us sit down over here so comfortable and watch and listen. Remember, say some live when you can't go up and listen. When you hear donation and one heap of sitting all the while, you know. Is like me I tell. Over your sound, you can come sit down comfortable and watch and nobody not stress on out. So when I will say like the live and share the live and all of you, all of you feel, you know, all of you feel generous if them want to eat the super chat. That's all we say over here, you know. Me not think that that's too much for us because we not get the best content over here, so. That's why toes now on over here at night time. I want to run down the numbers still, but we appreciate everybody. No, I'm not calling him no imbecile. I'm not calling him so. I'm mm -hmm. not going to get there. I'm not going to come on trip there. We don't know. God, I write down the name tonight. Every last one. Now. Anyway, as we say over here, justice for Melissa. Right? I cannot wait until April 11th. How many days we have left? We have about, about two weeks left. For Sylvia go back a court, go apply for bail. I cannot wait to see the kind of justice system where Jamaica really is when it comes on to the right to life of women. It's going to be interesting days ahead, guys. I tell you to say, they might try to do some doctor shopping. Forget bandolo letter. 
for carry God bail earring for go say they're sick. That's not right. And any doctor who is going to do that, who is a wicked, don't do that. Anybody who say them sick, may them go on to feed them own a doctor and make them go and go check in themselves in a hospital. The only place you can check in, check in to the hospital is when you're in your grave. If you're there in prison, you can go to the hospital, you can say you're sick and go on. Make them do the diagnosis. No bandolo thing to Melissa because anybody who participates in that, they are denying her justice and they're denying her kids and her family justice. I extend my sympathies to Melissa's family. I know it's been about 150 days or so since she's been gone. As so much? Yeah, man, almost. And I know that you guys are probably in mourning because you don't get no closure yet. But on the holy faith, because over here, so even when nobody else not talk, we are going to talk over here. Yes, we all talk over here, so you can rest assured. A lie. When you send one picture, come give me. Where you say, Sylvia, have laptop and cell phone and mattress. When you take him picture and send it, come on him and sleep. <laughs> What a judgment. If <laughs> anybody don't have GP, I went the GP are horizon. Anybody where they don't have GP, if you don't see Sylvia asleep, you don't take him picture and send it come give me. Because I never hear this yet. Laptop, cell phone, and mattress. I take God. Mm -mm. All right, guys, I will catch up with you tomorrow. Have yourselves a wonderful night. Be safe and come back tomorrow, same time. You are listening to Jamaica Politics Uncovered. Have a good night.